The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It is Chelsea. They face Paris Saint-Germain and it's coming up live here on EA TV. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Chelsea against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Marcos Alonso plays with Aspiliqueta in the fullback positions. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Marco Verratti starts alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And the main striker is the Argentinian Mauro Icardi. And now the Champions League final commences. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Verratti. Mbappe. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Now well, Christian Pulisic, someone who can dominate a game with his play on the ball. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Quick thinking defensively, Aspili Quetta. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Lukaku, and that will be the keeper's ball, and that's a straightforward stop. Verratti, Herrera has it, Icardi, now with Keira. Well, it's one pass after another. Kimpembe and PSG pushing forward with options available and let's give credit to the defending Wijnaldum Icardi and the first goal of this final is for PSG and that could be massive Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better.
So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Ronaldo. Strong play here. Attacking possibilities for PSG, but quick thinking defensively. Mbappe. Mauro Icardi here. And here's Wijnaldum. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Under Herrera. Icardi. Herrera! That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And over comes the corner. Well, the danger is still there. And problem solved for now. Cardi here, well knocked on the target, the keeper seemed to have it covered. Well he did seem to have it covered but it's not a bad effort though, he really did strike it well Rudiger it's Callum Hudson-Odoi Intercepting it intelligently. Verratti. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Icardi. And thumped away. Icardi. High quality defending. Mbappe. Making sure it didn't get past him. Verratti. Mauro Icardi here. Cutting the ball back. Real chance. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Wonderful chance. Determined defending. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. <laughs> to extend their lead here. And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So 2-0 now. Ziyech. Romelu Lukaku now. Ziyech. Cuts it back. 
Well, that's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. And this again, the goal that was scored from the spot. Who can he pick out? And so it is, the first half story has been written. Five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Ziesch. And plenty of space for this Chelsea attack. Jorginho. Lukaku takes the shot oh a smart stop keen to take it short here defensive roadblock in the way of that cross free kick to Chelsea And Pulisic has it. What an important piece of defending. Wijnaldum. Di Maria. Herrera. Great opportunity. What a vital intervention. Smuggled away. This might be ideal for the counter. Verratti. Herrera has it. Icardi. And fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back. Lukaku. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Chance to cross. Aspiliqueta. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. Superb effort to keep it in. A really effective shielding under pressure. So a throw in to Chelsea. Werner. PSG doing well to win it back. Ziesch. Lukaku cuts it back. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. <laughs> 
So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Under Herrera. Di Maria. And space to cross it. Keira. It is to be a throw-in. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Tilo Keira. Danilo Pereira. Well read to ease the pressure. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Werner. Great block. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, just look at this. He's so alive to the situation. That's a neat-headed goal in the end. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Just 10 minutes to go. Wijnaldum. Verratti. Danilo Pereira. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. And a fine tackle. Good looking move this. Tilo Keira. Options in the centre. And a throw in forthcoming. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Verratti. Mbappe. A very significant Paris Saint-Germain corner late in the game. And deciding to go short with this one. Mbappe. And a body in the way. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? And short it is. Di Maria. And a throw in it's going to be. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Mateo Kovacic. Delightful pass. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. And let's give credit. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And 
Fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Spot on with that tackle. Lukaku. Werner. Just the clearance that was needed. Excellent challenge from Danilo Pereira there. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it fizzled out. Werner. And Habits. Excellent vision. Werner. Well, it still could be dangerous. And in the end, no damage done. Simons. Paredes. Di Maria now. No failure to keep the ball by PSG. What can Chelsea do from this position? Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. He's lost the ball here, Marcos Alonso. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And a chance for him on the flank. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And let's give credit. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Di Maria. Defensive efficiency personified. Lukaku. On to Werner. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Conte. Werner. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Mbappe. Wijnaldum now. Di Maria. Dagba. PSG on the attack as the minutes tick away. What can they do in the closing phase? Di Maria. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Lukaku. And Mount. Lukaku. And a useful cross. Needs to clear it away. And I think the threat has been averted. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. And let's give credit to the defender.
And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a play, in it goes. Job done from the spot. He had to score, and he does. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And off the top of the crossbar. Well, sometimes it works out for you, but that was a wretched piece of finishing. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Can he remain calm? And he's taken the low road, beautifully done. And he's beaten the keeper. Well, he couldn't quite hit the desired target. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Chelsea! Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.